I'm really excited. Today I'm going to tell a story I have wanted to tell since I started 3D printing. And if you have read the title of this, you already know what it's about. It's how I got started 3D printing and it's probably not a reason you would expect and that's that my daughter is blind. And so I came to 3D printing looking to find things to print that would help her. And then as you all know, I fell crazy in love with 3D printing and filament and so it has become a big part of my life but it is a special part of my life too and that has to do with doing 3d printing for my daughter and so that's what we're going to talk about today before i talk about how i got into 3d printing i think i need to tell you how i didn't get into 3d printing because that's uh I, it's really an apology to my husband my children were very young, they were babies, and we have an 11 year old and a 12 year old today. But my husband came to me when they were really tiny and he said, hey, you know, the 3D printers are really interesting looking and they're coming down in price. And what do you think? Should we get one? And I looked at it and I was like, well, they're still kind of expensive. And what would we print? We don't know CAD design. So if we needed to print something like a part to repair our Roomba, by the time we figured out how to do that, we could have just ordered it from Amazon. Nah, I don't think it doesn't make any sense. And so I shot him down. And so, yeah, we didn't get a 3D printer. And then several years later, I was working with my daughter on her homework and I just could not convey the information to her. And I thought, you know what would be really great if I had something that would show her 3D printing. And so I went online and I looked and that's when I found the repositories and all of the amazing things that you all know are out there, millions of models. And I ran downstairs to my husband and I said, we need to get a 3D printer. There are some amazing things that we can use with our daughter. And besides that, there are a lot of fun stuff. And so yeah, history from there, we got a 3D printer. I ordered a whole lot of filament and yeah. And then I end up with a big closet of filament. But the story with my daughter, let's go into that more because that's a lot of fun. And if you're interested in finding out more on how 3D printing can help visually impaired and blind people, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Here's an example of how we use 3D printing with her schoolwork. So we're in North Carolina and my daughter's class had to do something where they looked at all of the North Carolina things like the North Carolina bird and the North Carolina plant and the North Carolina dog. And so her friends in her class, they just drew them. But she and I went through the repositories and I was like, what do you think we can find? Let's look for this. And I described it. And she was like, let's do that. So for instance, the North Carolina state bird was the cardinal. And sure enough, there was a cardinal model and she got to feel what a cardinal <laughs> felt like. And we had the North Carolina tree was the dogwood and the flower I think was the dogwood blossom. And so we had these and that was pretty cool. And we had a ship. And I love the fact that the North Carolina beverage is milk, right? Look at that. We had a milk container. So a lot of fun. We had emerald and a box turtle. And we also had the flag and the logo. And what was really neat about this is when she brought this in, her classmate thought this was really cool. And they all got to come over. And this is very tactile. You can even feel the letters. And so this was a lot of fun for not only her, but her whole class. So I think it's really interesting to get your head around what it's like to be a blind person. And this is something I had a hard time with. So my daughter does braille and that's how she reads. And that is really something she's excellent at. And in fact, if you knew I was going to MRF last year, the Midwest Rep Rap Festival, I didn't make it because my daughter made it to the National Braille Challenge. She was one of 50 students in K through 12 that made it there. And I was so proud of her and we went to go see her compete. In any case, here's an idea of the type of things that happens in our school. Now she's in elementary school and this is from a few years ago, but this is understanding how things with the earth change. And so we have, this is about fossils and this is what her teacher who helps her did. They have to understand what happens with fossils. And so she created this. These are some bones in tar. And then she created after that, what happens to fossils because we can describe and there are a lot of words to describe but there's nothing like we say a picture is worth a thousand words well something to touch that's tactile is worth a thousand words to a blind person this is really neat and if you all know from a 3d printer standpoint i bet there is something we could have 3d printed 
that would have helped us here, right? And so that's what is so exciting about 3D printing to me. Here's another example. All right, this is a map. Now, I think this was second grade for my daughter. She's in fifth grade now, but she has a visual impairment teacher that helps this. She's in a regular school with sighted children and just, it has the visual impairment specialty. So look at this. It's got four questions with this little map. Easy, easy, right? In order for her to understand that, they had to make a tactile version of that map. Here's a tactile version. Everything that's over here on this map is represented here, and there is a key. And so it's got the key and it's got braille to indicate what it is. And then those four questions are asked. Her braille has created all of this so that she could answer these four questions in about five minutes. So it's amazing what they do. But a lot of this, I think, 3D printing can really help with this. Another thing that we worked really hard on was taking lithophanes and making a modification to it. So if you're familiar with lithophanes, it's a way to take an image and then make that image so that you can print it in layers so that when you hold it up with light, you can actually see that picture in three dimensions. And we thought, is there a way that we could do something similar with taking an image and printing it so that a number of layers would be available and that you could feel it tactually? And this turned out to be a little bit complicated, but we we figured it out and I worked with the folks from Toy Box. if you're familiar with the Toy Box 3D printer on this and we had a lot of fun and this for instance is Abraham Lincoln and you might recognize this but my daughter was able to feel this and understand who Abraham Lincoln what he looked like and then she had Amelia Earhart she did a project about it and when we were able to get this for her her reaction was very interesting she felt it and said oh I didn't know she had short hair and so it's just an interesting way to get some information to someone who is blind that they might otherwise not have. And I thought that was really cool. And this is an ongoing project to see if we can take images and turn them into tactile versions so that a blind person can get a better understanding of what's in the image. All right, this one is a lot of fun and it's a special story to me. This is the Dice Dozer and it's a model from Clock Spring. And it's a lot of fun. You take two dice and you put it in there and then you pull this and it drops it down and now you have a roll and you can find out what you did. Now these dice in here just happen to be tactile dice and they're pretty much the same. We can look at them and very easily see the numbers on there. They're just raised, but they're also very easy for a blind or visually impaired person to feel and to see the numbers. Now, when we first started, these things were pretty expensive, seven or eight dollars a piece. Now they are very inexpensive, but you know how it works with 3D printing. You can take them and print them for like pennies and you can print them in any size you want. And so we certainly have done this. And I have given so many of these away but there are also loads of different tactile dice that have braille on them and different things anyway this is just a lot of fun as you know with 3d printing any size any amount now let's assume i'm blind and i'm a child and i'm really excited to play the game and so i'm going to roll the dice i may i may roll them right off the table and let me tell you if you're blind and you've lost the dice it's no fun so especially when you've got an excited child. If you take some dice and you put them here and then they get to roll them in the dice dozer, it's fun. And then they can keep it contained and roll it. That's, that's just really fun. So this was a clock spring model. And then he had another one. And this is a dice tower. Now, for those of you who've done 3D printing for a while, you probably know there are a whole load of dice towers and some of them are beautiful and do different things and they're all a lot of fun. So that was another model that clock spring had come out about the same time. And again, you put the dice in there and it rolls around comes to the bottom and you can look at your total and this one just happens to be modular so you can take and put as many on there as you want which definitely makes it more fun and yeah how much fun is that so I sent Clocksmith a message I had become a patron of his on patreon and I said hey I want to tell you thank you these models are wonderful I contacted my daughter's, I said my daughter's blind and I contacted my daughter's school and said, hey, these are so much fun. Would you be interested in them for the visual impairment room? And they said, absolutely, we would love them. And a little bit after that, I got contacted by the middle school that my daughter will be going to soon. And they said, is there any chance we could have a copy of them? And I'm like, absolutely, I'll print them for you and drop them off. So that was really a wonderful thing. And clock spring, I was so touched. He went back on my mini factory and took these and he made them free for everyone and said if they're helpful we'd love to have you print them so what a cool gesture in any case we love these we use them for games all the time let's get my daughter on and see what she has to say about 3d printing this is my daughter reese blum reese would you like to say hello 
Hello, camera. There are people out there. I know. It's a lot of people. Everyone in the entire world? Well, all the cool people who are watching our video, right? Those are, the, those are the cool people. All right. So, hey, I have a question for you. So, I've been doing 3D printing for a lot of your life, right? Yes. Now, what is something that you like about 3D printing? Well, I like that they, you can make pictures. So, we have done pictures. What have we done pictures of that's been interesting faces. to you? Yeah, faces. And the coronavirus. Oh, the coronavirus. You know, that was one of the earliest prints that I did for you. Do you remember that you said, ew? I did not. <laughs> wow, there it is, right? <laughs> Mr. Corona. So Hello. We, we, Don't we saw that. Me. So we saw that as sighted people everywhere at the beginning of the pandemic. On TV, it was on, it was on any print material. I mean, we just saw it anywhere on, it was everywhere. But as a blind person, you didn't see that at all. And so we were well into the pandemic when it occurred to me to print what this virus looked like and give it to you. And so I've kept it because it's a really Oops. broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really interesting piece. All right, so something that you said that you wanted to do regularly. What did you say? Because I thought it was great. I said that we should do something like every month or week or something, that we should have um, a, a video about, three, about 3D printing that could help the blind. I think it's a good idea, right? Yeah. So you and I are going to take that as a responsibility. We're going to go off into the wilds of our basement and we're going to come up with videos that we think are something that would help people who are either visually impaired or maybe parents or caregivers are visually impaired and we're going to come back and we're going to present that video because a lot of these things we have discovered ourselves right yeah yeah and it's been interesting to see that a lot of times people will say oh you could do this and they have an idea of something that would be really interesting to do uh, and it's a good idea. The problem is there are better solutions for it. There's like stickers to do that. There's easier things. So we want to come back and find out the things that are really useful. Yeah. yeah? Especially you can 3D print a lot of things for school projects. Yes, we like have. Like we had to make a wagon wheel. We had to make a wagon and we used 3D printed wheels. That's right. That's right. You give me one day notice on that. Mom, it has to be done tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, I know. All right. So in any case, everyone, I am thrilled to be able to introduce my daughter, Reese, and I'm really excited to bring her back regularly to do a 3D printing for visually impaired. And if you have any suggestions or you know someone who's visually impaired or you're visually impaired, we would love to hear your comments because this is something that, as you can guess, is very close to our hearts. All right. See you next time. Bye, cool people.